So this one comes to us from the Critical Drinker. See, Deadpool and Wolverine, will it save or destroy Marvel? I don't know. <clears throat> I would say they're probably putting all of their eggs in one basket for this one. And that's the reason why there isn't any Marvel, like official MCU. Ah, stop it. Stop it. Uh, any official MCU movies are going to be coming out this year other than Deadpool. I do know super, super sexy. Uh, what's it called again? Um, they're really, really trying to hide it. Uh, the cameo for this movie. I'm not sure if it's true. It, things could change. But uh, yeah, so if that cameo is true, people are going to lose their nutsack. All right. Anyways, chat room. Let's go ahead and check out this vid video. Video right over here. Ah, Deadpool. In a superhero genre bogged down by bloated budgets, convol- Sorry. Sorry! Convoluted interconnected narratives, ridiculously over-the-top visual spectacle, tedious quippy humor, and increasingly stale characters, there was one series that dared to take a very different approach. Refreshingly inventive, irreverent, self-contained, self-aware, R-rated, and genuinely funny, Deadpool was an absolute breath of fresh air when it burst onto the scene back in 2016. It was a film that finally figured out how to use Ryan Reynolds to his full potential, and damn man, he really went all in with this hold on chat oh my god it's been that long it's been <clears throat> yeah yeah i believe this is the first marvel movie that actually has like legit like hardcore nudity that's not hardcore but like a good amount of nudity and it's funny is because um uh <laughs> oh my god um it was like a stanley was in that scene but yeah let's continue one, allowing him to play Deadpool the way he was written in the comics, unlike, you know. <laughs> who, th who thought that was a good idea? Who thought that shit was fucking good? That was so stupid, man. That was the worst thing since Joe Biden. No, Joe Biden's worse. Sequel came along a couple of years later, which was, yeah, I mean, it wasn't as fresh and innovative as the first movie, and some of the jokes definitely started to wear thin after a while, but I think it mostly held up pretty well. Unfortunately, plans for a third movie were shelved after Disney did what Disney does best, bought up 20th Century Fox so they could shamelessly exploit all the IPs under its banner. Years went by and not a whole lot happened, and it began to seem less and less likely that Deadpool 3 would ever get made. Ryan Reynolds was getting older, and superhero movies were rapidly falling out of favor. But then last year, in typical Ryan Reynolds fashion, he casually there dropped the news that Deadpool 3 was finally going ahead. And even better, Hugh Jackman was going to be reprising his role as Wolverine. Now I have to admit, this seemed like good news at the time, because it marked the cinematic culmination of the biggest bromance in Hollywood history, and one of the few remaining team-ups to generate actual fan interest. But I couldn't shake the feeling that it might also be a bit of a point and chalice now here's the thing um yo what's going on alec Baldwin's finger how's it going man now here's the thing i was one of the many people okay uh, not many i was one of the few people who hated the idea that disney was gonna acquire uh fox i was one of those people i'm like well we're gonna get less movies if they're gonna acquire uh deadpool um they're gonna fucking neuter it now how did i know it's because I was, during that time, during the acquisition, I was actually a part of the acquisition. Um, if you guys didn't know, I used to work at Fox and I was a part of the acquisition. So when we heard that Disney was going to buy us outright, I was like, cool, I'm gonna get the silver pass where I can go to Disneyland for free and bring people in with me. But what does that mean as a consumer? So I'm like, well, they're going to neuter a bunch of stuff. Everything. You're not going to get Logan anymore. You're not going to get uh, Deadpool anymore. So. And my uh, my assessments were correct. What happened was that they released Once Upon a Deadpool as sort of a, um, a I guess, uh, what's it called again? A test, an A-B testing to see how well that movie would do is because that movie was a rated PG-13 movie and it was completely neutered. And I saw it in the back lot before uh, it was released. So I saw it in the back lot of uh, Fox 
and um it was uh it was like okay but a lot of the cool parts of deadpool 2 was removed and what happens you get anything from like nine maybe like six or no i would say like six or seven superhero movies down to like three or four a year and now for this year you get only one so in my original assessment is it still stands i still feel exactly the same thing deadpool's i feel like this version of deadpool is not gonna be like deadpool one deadpool right they're not gonna they're gonna have the gay jokes uh, i would say between uh deadpool and wolverine and we already saw them talking uh the, the trailer with uh ryan reynolds saying you know um i'm used to pay if you're gonna peg me i you know i'm uh, i'm paraphrasing here i'm used to it unlike disney you know i'm pretty sure disney is known for their fair share of pegging and uh fucking uh, uh tossing a salad for uh, a lot of the shareholders so they can get extra money however um this one is gonna will it save it i would say this movie has to make a billion dollars in order for her to save Disney Marvel, uh, Disney Marvel. I don't think anything else will. I think um, the fact that you have a bunch of cameos in this one, right? You have Sabretooth from the OG. You have, um, what's it called again? Um, TVA, Logan, and um, you have a bunch of returning characters. We're not sure what other cameos they're going to have. But I have my doubts. I have my doubts with this one, right? And a lot of people are like, oh, it's going to be so cool is because it's, it's it feels like the same comedy it feels like the same humor it's not you're not going to have the original writer the original director that worked on the original so i don't know we'll see i i would love to be proven wrong in july i would 100 love to be proven wrong but let's continue yeah it was nice to see hugh jackman wearing the claws again because for me and probably a lot of other people his wolverine is kind of a throwback to a simpler more innocent time in movie making when the superhero genre was this cool and exciting new world of boundless possibilities but after finally figuring out how to make the character work and then giving him a fitting send-off in logan did we really want to risk trampling on that legacy with a goofy comedy that might well crash and burn and could a 55 year old hugh jackman really get himself back into wolverine shape considering he was already noticeably showing his age in logan six years earlier also and this is the biggie what were the chances that we'd get to see a proper r-rated foul mouth deadpool movie within the crushingly safe family-friendly mcu framework could such a thing actually happen or would we end up with just another bland neutered depressingly formulaic marvel movie that happened to be wearing a deadpool skin suit well we got our first hints about how the movie's shaping up during the super bowl last night with the first trailer for Deadpool and Wolverine. Yup, they really want you to know that Wolverine's gonna be mm -hmm. in this one. Anyway, I digress. So we pick up with Wade Wilson, who's enjoying a nice birthday celebration when suddenly the, yeah, the TVA from Loki show up. Yeah, uh, now nah, nah, here's the thing. The fucking T the TVA shit, oh my god, I fucking hate the TVA. They're fucking boring as fuck. They're lame. I hate it season one of Loki and I didn't even bother with season two of Loki. And I knew that they're somehow going to bring it in using TVAs because of the whole time travel thing, right? So, we already have Monica Rambeau using her, um, her fucking, uh, I can see the light! I can see the light! And, um, and then she, her, her herself goes into, um, what's it called again? A different universe and that has Beast right um actual like scientists be standing on uh you know the uh you know with kelsey grammar so i don't i don't know man like this this whole fucking uh multiverse bullcrap like i i've been so tired of it now can it be done yes it can and it could be it could, can it be comedic yes did it did deadpool 2 at the end of the movie do a good job i would say maybe Right, it says uh, Alec Baldwin Finger says I didn't get a good feeling from the trailer. Yeah, yeah, I it's it's okay, right? Everyone is super hyped. The only funny part was the Disney pegging part, right? No way says uh, plus after the writer strike, rumor has it that they're restricting Ryan Reynolds from being able to go off script. Exactly, right? That's the thing that made the first movie and probably the second movie that memorable. The first movie was fantastic, right? A good friend of mine, Dan hates deadpool with a passion and he hated the fact that he loved the movie that's saying something right and this movie they're they you know they're assuming that you need to watch loki wandavision 
Loki season two, um, a bunch of other these uh, TV Disney crap uh, TV shows. Um, no, no one cares about it, right? The only movies that you need to watch for homework is Deadpool one and Deadpool two, right? Because people aren't here for TVA. People aren't here for Disney Marvel. People aren't here for Disney Plus garbage. People are here to watch Ryan Reynolds play Deadpool. That's it. No one, if if it was any other person playing Deadpool, no one would give a shit. I guarantee you. Let's continue. Uh, not an amazing start, guys. <laughs> Referencing a TV show that most Deadpool fans probably haven't heard of and totally don't give a shit about. Although it definitely could have been improved massively if Wade had just fucking murdered all of them right there in the hallway. I've got to admit, though, this one really did get to me. You appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Finally, I can feel represented on screen. <laughs> so the gist seems to be that Loki's recruited by the TVA to go off into alternate timelines and complete missions for them, i.e. he's leaving his own reality and traveling across the multiverse, leaving a trail of corpses in his wake. And by the looks of things, he might just run into an old pal along the way. Now, here, here's what would be cool. Deadpool kills the MCU, resets the entire thing. Now, that is something I would watch. Deadpool kills the MCU because if there's a comic where Deadpool kills the Marvel Universe or something like that, right? He basically like kills the original, the actual writer of Deadpool and he kills him, ultimately kills himself. So I can see that working out and I can see it being really, really good if Deadpool kills the MCU. Like, please jump into like, we, we already have fucking She-Hulk breaking the fourth wall. Have Deadpool break the fourth, break the fourth wall's fourth wall and then gets rid of all the writers, all the shitty writers, and he becomes director himself. He becomes, Deadpool becomes, <laughs> he becomes the CEO of the MCU. <laughs> that would be an amazing, amazing movie that everyone would love to watch. His improv is his greatest talent, so of course they neutered him. Abs they have to. They have to, because a lot of these writers are extremely insecure about themselves, where they have to constantly inject themselves into the uh the movies is right is because they feel like they have no uh no talent or anything like that so they have to do they have to do something right and a lot of video games do it too so uh we'll see we'll see only time can tell way now i have to admit i'm surprised to be saying this about any marvel product at this point but this trailer actually looks pretty good. I like how it kicks off its setup with the kind of pompous, over-the-top dramatic monologue that you'd expect from Marvel trailers, only to switch into full-on Deadpool mode the moment he shows up. There's plenty of action, plenty of blood and gore, plenty of swearing and crude jokes and self-aware humor. That's Pyro from the original, acknowledgement the that the MCU I'm has become stale, predictable and played out, and that a character like Deadpool is exactly what it needs to get jolted back to life. The first step towards solving a problem truly is acknowledging that it even exists and Deadpool could be the perfect vehicle for the MCU to poke fun at itself in a way that's actually funny and entertaining instead of whatever the fuck She-Hulk was trying to be. Exactly. Now, I've spent a lot of time shitting on the multiverse concept recently because whatever the potential it might have had, it's pretty obvious that in the hands of lazy Marvel writers, it's devolved into a consequence-free sandbox where nothing matters anymore. Every character exists in a quantum state of being infinitely alive and dead. And for the most part, it's just a lame excuse to work in some cheap cameos from other better movies and that definitely still holds true for films that at least pretend to be telling a serious story but weirdly i think deadpool might be the perfect way of tackling it because it's not bound by the same constraints as other marvel films it can truly cut loose and just have fun with the concept throwing in all kinds of weird and wonderful variations on classic characters with no real concern about long-term repercussions if you really have to do multiverses i guess what i'm saying is this is probably the way to do it now all of that being said Absolutely. i'm going to go into this with a kind of wary optimism here because as much as this has the superficial appearance of a Deadpool movie, I'm still not entirely convinced that it's going to be allowed to play out as one. There's lots about the MCU to make fun of these days and I don't doubt that Ryan Reynolds is very aware of the problems in the franchise but I do have to wonder how far he'll actually be allowed to go with this one. I mean Exactly, sort of like what you said, right? No ways. Um, I If we, we heard that Ryan Reynolds was was yeah, basically cucked out of a lot of um his own writing. So like he could he couldn't go balls deep. Right? He couldn't he couldn't go like as 
as hard as he can, as fast and hard as he can, how he would do his uh, his previous movies. But I hope that I were proven wrong, right? That makes sense to rewrite the DC universe, but how are you able to fit his gay transfer relationship for the MC, for twenty five uh, yeah twenty five percent of the movie? Yeah. So 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 with this whole MCU thing, right? Like he 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 has like a hard on for uh for Wolverine. And um and the thing is that he also I remember in the in the comics he also has like a relationship with uh not not a gay relationship but like he has like a funny back and forth relationship with Spider Man as well so if if Deadpool three does do really really well it it won't be because of of Disney and Marvel it'll be because of Ryan Reynolds and how much pull he has right. Ryan Reynolds was the one person with along with like a couple of a uh, couple of um writers and stuff like that was the one they're the one who leaked the the test footage for Deadpool 1 the highway the highway chasing in the beginning of the movie they purposely leaked it right when I was at a town hall uh when I was th- uh, at Fox they um Ryan Reynolds came to talk to us no he didn't come to talk to us he 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 made a video to talk to us and he basically talked about and we had um what's it called again um the two of the writers and one of the, the the producers of Deadpool one there, and they were talking about how Ryan Reynolds was the key benefactor to having Deadpool, um, having the Deadpool movie done, because how much positive feedback it had for for that uh, test footage, right? It, it was all in the hands of Ryan Reynolds. Now, if it if this movie is PG thirteen or like light, you know. Uh, light R, not hard R, but light. Um, it's not going to be the same. It's not like you have to have the gro the the grotesque violence. You have to have the crude, uh, sexual gay humor that Deadpool has. And if you remove all of that, that's a life and soul of the character. Now, am I saying without those of uh, uh, hardcore violence and uh, gratuitous um, sexual innuendos, this movie is going to suck? Yeah. Definitely. Right. It has to be able to be um, able to make fun of itself, make fun of Disney, make fun of Bob Iger, make fun of Kevin Feige, make fun of uh, fucking uh, the the acquisition, make fun of Disney in general. Like it has to be extremely self-aware, which is Deadpool, you know, him saying pegging that that, that. I'm going to need more. And that's the reason why I gave this trailer originally a meh. Like, yeah, it looks okay. I need more. This is and this is a teaser trailer. This is it's this if isn't even the theatrical trailer. We need we need the actual trailer, not and not a teaser, in order for me to get my full assessment where this movie's gonna go. And just imagine it for a second, Disney Marvel using the convenient framing device of a fictional character to openly poke fun at their own worst tendencies, the convoluted storylines, the forgotten plot points, the MCU, the endless political pandering and tediously predictable storylines, and having the balls to acknowledge that yes, we've gone a bit too far with all this stuff, but we see that now and we're working to fix it. Yeah, I don't really see that happening either. Ultimately though, despite these misgivings, I can't say I'm too unhappy about what I've seen here. The trailer looks decent enough. The novelty of finally seeing Jackman and Reynolds reunited on screen is definitely going to be a crowd pleaser. And as one of the only high profile superhero movies coming out this year, I think Deadpool 3 is probably going to do well at the box office from sheer lack of competition, if nothing else. Yep. Is it going to reinvigorate the tired MCU and usher in a new age of violent, edgy, R rated superhero movies? Probably not. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably going to follow a similar pattern to Guardians 3, a movie with decent financial returns and good audience reception that can't really be exploited further down the line, and ultimately nothing more than a blip that does nothing to change the MCU's overall trajectory. But hey, at least it's something to look forward to in an otherwise bleak summer movie season. You've got the drinker's interest, Deadpool. Just try not to fuck it up now. Anyway. That's all I've got for today. <laughs> Go away now. Oh man, quick, quick and simple, simple video. Um, I, I, I I'm not as, as uh, what's it called again? As uh, excited as the drinker. Uh, but I am. You have me intrigued m- m- more than anything, right? But uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, get, get, give him a like, subscribe to him if you guys haven't already. But yeah, um, I would say uh, overall, it's um, you have me. 
you, 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 you tickled my balls. You have my balls and you barely tickled it just a little bit. And it made me just a little bit excited for it. So I'm not sure, like I said, if I'm going to be, um, I'm not going to, I'm not going to hold my breath. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's under, it's under Disney Marvel. So, um, it could suck, right? I, I've lost faith a lot already. So here, so there's a link. Go ahead and share, like, subscribe and stuff like that for uh, the drinkers channel. It's uh, very, very quick, but yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a staunch like MCU dude and stuff like that, but like I, I am excited for it, um, in, in a way that I was excited to, um, you know, uh, like take a shit, you know, it's, um, it's like, oh yeah, it's going to feel good, you know, in, in a bit, but like, you know, it's, it's not something that like, that's fun or anything like that, but I, I don't know. I, like I said, I could be proven wrong. It could be an excellent movie, but here's the thing. That movie needs to make over a billion dollars, like 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 literally make over a billion dollars for sure. Right. And we do know that uh, I believe uh, Rob Liefeld is officially retiring, too. So hopefully this movie is like a good send off for him, uh, for for Rob Liefeld for so he can go into retirement. Yeah. Dead poop. <laughs> true, true.